Hey friend, Roger Christofferson here with another review. I almost said first listen review, but this one uh, is one of those albums I've listened to quite a few times. Um, it's uh, Pink Floyd Animals, the 2018 remix, just being released now here in 2022. Somehow it took four years for these guys to agree on just the liner notes. Um, and that's about all you get extra in this album. I know some people were hoping for some bonus stuff and maybe some live stuff, but those guys just can't seem to agree on anything these days, so I guess we should be happy with uh, what we got. And the liner notes are, are pretty cool. It's uh, pretty insightful. Um, I just remember from the past, you know, some of the funny stories about uh, this album when they were trying to, like, film, or uh, not film, but shoot the uh, the cover photo, and they had the flying pig that got away, and they had a marksman they had to come and shoot it down, <laughs> they had reports of a flying pig, people calling in, you know, 911, whatever it is over there, and in England, people calling in, <laughs> so stuff like that. I remember hearing those stories. Um, it's one of the, I, I, first of all, I'm gonna say I love Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd is one of those like deserted island bands, you know, albums. I don't know which one I would ever pick, but uh, I really love these guys. Never been a huge fan of the really, really early stuff, um, which is strange because Set the Controls for the Heart of the Sun is one of my absolute favorite songs of theirs. So much so that I actually recorded a version of it just for fun. I've actually never released it or anything, but it was just a fun thing for me to do. I don't know, maybe I'll do it after this. Uh, but yeah, definitely the Animals is right up there and one of my favorites. It's funny because I probably haven't listened to this one in like three or four years. Um, so the, almost like today was almost like, or this weekend I should say, was like listening to it all over again because this mix is, is different. Um, there's several versions of this out there. There's a UK mix. There was a uh, US mix when it first came out. There was a Japanese mix, which was like extremely troubled. Almost no bass end to that mix at all. Don't recommend buying that one. And then it was 2016 they did one. A remaster, I guess that was. Um, which was pretty good. But this, uh, this one's different. Um, I guess the biggest... Issue, or not issue, but the biggest thing I noticed with this is that you can hear everything. I mean, you can, it's almost like you can hear the the bass pick on the, uh, the strings. You can definitely hear it on the acoustic guitar like I've never noticed before. Um, it's funny, Pigs on the Wing, I think, was supposed to be a love song that uh, Roger Waters wrote. Um, and one thing I'd, I'd just forgotten how much it, fun it is just to put on an album that's supposed to be listened to as an album because this isn't one of those ones you hear maybe the singles because there wasn't really a single I mean I guess Pigs I've heard that one quite a few times on the radio growing up you know throughout the years but not lately um, and uh, I don't know that that's one of the biggest things I, I noticed you can definitely pick out a lot more of the uh, Rhodes piano which I never really noticed so much you know Rick Wright putting out some cool stuff on that that I never really picked up before. And uh, Nick Mason's drums, let me tell you, this is a drum and bass mix. It's, and I'm not complaining because bass is probably like one of my favorite instruments to play. Um, can't play drums at all, but I can pretty much play a lot of the other stuff, but when it came right down to it, bass would be my thing. So it was fun to hear this one mixed with a bass that prominent, especially in uh, Pigs. Pigs has got to be one of my favorite songs of theirs. I know I just said such controls, but on this album, Pigs is, would be like my favorite uh, song. And I, I don't think Roger Waters ever got the credit he deserved for bass player. I mean, he always was known as a singer and a songwriter. He wrote a lot of the stuff. But he's not a flashy bass player, but he really plays what needs to be played. And to tell you what, his playing on Pigs is probably some of the best you'll hear from him, I think, anyway. But... Um, so I definitely like that that about it. There's some panning stuff going on that maybe I don't remember hearing before in the beginning of Dogs. And a lot of the background echoes and the stuff I just never, on uh, Gilmore's vocals when he was singing and that one, I never really remembered hearing before. So that's pretty prominent. I know the drums at the end of Sheep, I don't think they extended quite that long, so maybe they... It might just be my imagination, but it seemed like it lasted a little bit longer on the fade out than I, I remember hearing before. Um, 
I don't know, I'm just kind of winging this one. <laughs> Some of you might get that joke. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it was definitely, if I was to choose out of all the mixes I've heard of this so far, this might, I'm just going to say it, it's probably my favorite mix so far. It's, you know, if you get used to a certain album a certain way, like I've heard Animals, you know, probably a hundred times, and you get used to it a certain way, it is a little bit, it's a little bit different listening to it like this. It's almost like listening to a new album, and there's things that I'll probably even keep noticing after this. Um, I know there was some, it, it almost seemed like the vocals were off to one side at a couple different points, and I don't remember that from... Um, any of the other mixes either so you know, just things like that um, you know it's definitely sounds like a band it's hard, just hard to believe that four guys made this it's you just don't hear stuff like this anymore it just makes me really appreciate musicianship and you know the songwriting that they had at this point in their career was just amazing it's just it's like going on a journey I don't know I could ramble on and on and on and on but uh, I don't know you guys should gotta pick this up. And if you've never heard this album before, this is probably the mix I would go with. Um, maybe down down the line we'll get to hear some more stuff from this. You know, as far as extras and whatnot. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this. I really thoroughly enjoyed going through this and listening to it. That's uh, yeah, that was fun. So anyway, like, subscribe, share. I know this stuff I'm forgetting to mention on here, but uh, that's every time I make one of these, I think I say that. But uh, yeah, appreciate uh, all the uh, input you guys have to say about this one. Tell me what you think, you know, what your opinions are of this one. Talk to you guys later.